Chinsey Britt. I'm at the Athens Limestone Public Library in Athens, Alabama, and I'm reading a passage from The Giver by Lois Lowry. In 1995, a parent in Franklin County, Kansas, challenged it for themes of murder, suicide, and the degradation of motherhood and adolescence. This book was eventually removed from school libraries, but remained available for use at a teacher's discretion. Jonas felt the joy of it as soon as the memory began. Sometimes it took a while for him to get his bearings, to find his place. But this time, he fit right in and felt the happiness that pervaded the memory. He was in a room filled with people, and it was warm, with firelight growing on a hearth. He could see through a window that outside it was night and snowing. There were colored lights, red and green and yellow, twinkling from a tree which was, oddly, inside the room. On a table, lighted candles stood in a polished golden holder and cast a soft, flickering glow. He could smell things cooking, and he heard soft laughter. A golden-haired dog lay sleeping on the floor. On the floor, there were packages wrapped in brightly colored paper and tied with gleaming ribbons. As Jonas watched, a small child began to pick up the packages and pass them around the room to other children, to adults who were obviously parents, into an older, quiet couple, man and woman, who sat smiling together on a couch. While Jonas watched, the people began one by one to untie the ribbons on the packages, to unwrap the bright papers, open the boxes, and reveal toys and clothing and books. There were cries of delight. They hugged one another. The small child went and sat on the lap of the old woman, and she rocked him and rubbed her cheek against his. Jonas opened his eyes and lay contently on the bed, still luxuriating in the warm and comforting memory. It had all been there, all the things he had learned to treasure. What did you perceive, the giver asked. Warmth, Jonas replied, and happiness, and, let me think, family. That it was a celebration of some sort, a holiday, and something else. I can't quite get the word for it. It'll come to you. Who were the old people? Why were they there? It had puzzled Jonas, seeing them in the room. The old of the community did not ever leave their special place, the house of the old, where they were so well cared for and respected. They were called grandparents. Grandparents? Grandparents. It meant parents of the parents, long ago. Back and back and back, Jonas began to laugh. So actually there could be parents of the parents of the parents of the parents? The giver laughed too. That's right. It's a little like looking at yourself, looking in a mirror, looking at yourself, looking in a mirror. Jonas frowned. But my parents must have had parents. I never thought about it before. Who are my parents of the parents? Where are they? You could go look in the Hall of Open Records. You'd find the names. But think, son. If you applied for children, then who will be their parents of the parents? Who will be their grandparents? My mother and father, of course. And where will they be? Jonas thought. Oh, he said slowly. When I finish my training and become a full adult, I'll be given my own dwelling. And then when Lily dies, a few years later, she'll get her own dwelling. And maybe a spouse and children if she applies for them. And then mother and father. That's right. As long as they're still working and contributing to the community, they'll go and live with the other children less adults. And they won't be part of my life anymore. And after that, when the time comes, they'll go to the house of the old, Jonas went on. He was thinking aloud. And they'll be well cared for and respected, and when they're released, there will be a celebration. Which you won't attend, the giver pointed out. No, of course not, because I won't even know about it. By then I'll be so busy with my own life, and Lily will too. So our children, if we have them, won't know who their parents of parents are either. It seems to work pretty well that way, doesn't it? The way we do it in our community, Jonas asked. I just didn't realize there was any other way until I received that memory. It works, the giver agreed. Jonas hesitated. I certainly liked the memory, though. I can see why it's your favorite. I couldn't quite get the word for the whole feeling of it, the feeling that was so strong in the room. Love, the giver told him. Jonas repeated it. Love.